this is Roxy, and as you can see by the title, it's Index Card Series number 11. This is going to be um, birding note cards for my summertime, fall, and winter, and spring birding, bird watching. Um, so we took a class, me and a friend and a neighbor, well friends, took a class this spring at our local, um, one of our local parks. It's so gorgeous, Thompson Park. It's, they have like a huge lodge. It's so nice and a lake, everything. Um, but this gal that teaches them, she's just amazing. So we learned a lot about birding. And um, I made this for my Your Creative Studio unboxing, the most recent one. But I kind of like the idea, except I don't have a lot of stamps or these vellum pieces, so I'm going to kind of change it up a little bit. And I bought this a while ago. It's a really cool um, postage stamp die. So, you get... I don't know why you get two of these. But it's nice because you can do a lot. And then you get this size. And I think this is more like a ticket. You know, that you tear off, so that's cool. But I think I'm going to use this size. Yeah, I'm going to. And what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I thought I'd do some watercolor practice with it. So I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's their Master's Touch series, and it's 140 pound for $4 plus 40% off. So I'm going to see if my little... My baby Sizzix will cut this out. I hope so. If not, we'll have to go over to the Vagabond. <clears throat> so, here's a It's a perfect size. We'll first see if it does. Um, cause then what I'm gonna do, when I see a bird, I can just go to this or one of my many, many bird books. I've got one upstairs, the Minnesota Birds, that has really pretty photos. But these are nice. I always could just cut it out, too. Depends on how lazy I get. Which, you know, is not very often, but it's pretty consistent. Alright, so let's get these out. And then this suction works and sometimes it doesn't. So we'll see what it's going to do today. I suppose it's this surface, but I don't know. Ooh. Ooh, it cut it like butter. <gasps> nice. Oh, wait a second. Are they the same? Yeah. I kind of like that it made impression there. So maybe I'll do it twice, it deepens that border impression. What am I doing? Oh yeah. So that's nice. So I'll just make a, cut a couple. I like to switch these out too. But I think these are pretty hard. So they don't get warpy.
there. Yeah, I like that. So you can see the flat. It flattened it out. That's nice. All right, so I will do some more. Okay, and now, gonna... I didn't cut that many out. I kind of want to get to this part. So now I want to do this. And these letters are from the Your Creative Studio um, kit that I just did. I'll put a link to that below. Um, this font again. Anyways, I love this font. It's really sweet. The only thing I don't like is the letters are not spaced on their, you know, carrier, so to speak, so that they would um, uh, space correctly on a when when stamped out. In other words, see how these letters, how the I is spaced properly for the other two letters. On this, the I has, has, or it has more space than it should have on either side. So I could go through this and cut them down, but I'm not gonna do that yet. Then, so in other words, you could drive a truck through each letter. But I think I might have a little trick up my sleeve. I'm just gonna test it out. And um, this is another thing I, I like having index cards right at my table is to doing stuff like this, like testing things out, trying it out, seeing how it looks, you know, see what the color looks like with this color, whatever. All right, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to space these out so they work the way I want them to work. So I'll do an S and an E. right next to each other. You know what I should do? Waste another card. I think I just um, put it where I'm gonna put that. I'll put it where I'm gonna put it. I might as well do all the cards. So I need, so far, eight cards. That's gonna work. That's good. Cute. So there's a way around it with the alphabet to get them nice and close. Okay, then we need date. So I'll do T, T. I thought I had date. Why is this not? Oh, it's B, that's why. This could be tricky because T is a skinny line. So I'll get my like an ale fit. 
Alright, so... Let me... But I, wait, 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 wait. This way, right? I'm gonna take these off. Make sure they're nice and perfect. Ooh, I'm impressing myself. I gotta tell you a story, it's funny. So, this winter. We had our Christmas, we didn't have our Christmas party for our um, neighborhood association and that. So, and every year we make baskets and um, get everything at the Dollar Tree. It's really fun. Cause you can, and then we'd get like a, put a bottle of a nice wine with it. So we do six of them every year. So this year, we decided to go caroling and pass out our baskets. Well, the date we were going to do it, and you know, we're getting like, one, two, three, four, like seven people together. So we put a date and said, you know, we got to adhere to it. Well, of course, it's like, I think it was five degrees out that day, or I think it was about five. So we bundled up, and I bought a bottle of schnapps, and brought some little glasses, like little shot glasses from Dollar Tree. And um, we went around and, you know, some weren't drinking, some were. I eat moi and our, um, all us on the committee. <laughs> oh, it was fun. And then a couple others. But anyways, so we, you know, asked the neighbors at one, hand them their baskets and do you want a schnapps? And a lot of them did. Um, but, I mean, we really kind of had to do it. Because it was so cold. So, um, you know, we, we get done, go back to my house, blah, blah, blah. Everybody goes home, goes home. And the next day, my neighbor next door, Nan, I shouldn't say her name, my neighbor next door said, you know, called the next morning and said, I saw the owl. You know, because we've seen this owl or can hear this owl. Can't see it, can hear it because it's way out in the trees. And she goes, yeah, she goes, I don't know if, I, she said, I kind of fell asleep on the couch. And I don't know if I was dreaming this or not, but I got up to go to bed, looked out on my railing of her deck, and there's the owl. And she said, yeah, I told John. I woke up and said, John, there's an owl on the deck. And he goes, you're drunk, go to bed. <laughs> so anyways, fast forward about a month, she gets the picture of the owl sitting on her railing. And like every other week, it's like all these different owls. It's not just a certain one. They're all different kinds of owls. She had a barred owl. She had a, what are those, white? Oh, I could look up here and tell you what she had. And they'd come, and I gotta, I'll have to get a picture. They'd, great horned owl. She had one of those. They'd sit there and look at her, and I said, well, I bet it's because you're a cat, maybe. Because she's got a black cat. There's a barred owl. What was the other one? I think it was that one. Maybe the gray owl. Or, oh yeah, I'll have to ask her. But she's seen a few different owls. And then, um, and they're, you know, they sit there on her deck, on the railing, look and watch her, and it's really cool, and I'm like, I want to see, you know. And we quit feeding the birds because we got little mice one year coming in because they come up and get the seed, and then they get close enough to your house, it's like, ooh, it's warm here. Why don't we go in there? So we got rid of them, and Bill said, no more feeding the birds, which I miss because, I swear, on a stack of bowels, we would get... 20 to 30 red 
bright red cardinals on our bushes and trees in the back feeding. And you know, chickadees, all the birds. But it was just so cool. So we can't do that anymore. But she does. And I said, but she doesn't have mice. And I said, well, yeah, because you got Morgan. You know, they smell Morgan, the cat, and they're like, no, no, uh-uh, not going in there. So anyways, fast forward to a couple weeks ago, and the other neighbors got him on her deck. In fact, this is kind of funny. I wake up one morning, I get this, you know, go to my email, and there's this email from a, like a phone number. It's like a PIX, I think it's a PIX email from a phone number that I don't recognize. And I ch click on it, and I'm like, oh, I'm really curious you know, what it is. So I opened it and I was like, closing my eyes thinking, oh, what did I do? And I look and I'm like, who got a picture of our deck? I, I mean, I thought to, you know, I could see the, our um, grill on the side and then our, our iron table and some flowers. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And I look up and I'm like, oh, it's an owl. And I thought, okay, who got in our house? Well, then I kind of look some more. And I'm waking up a little more, I guess. And it's our neighbor's owl, or our neighbor's deck. They have the same model that we have, so the deck's kind of situated the same. Because at first I thought, oh, maybe it's Nancy's. I thought, oh, maybe it's the neighbor that I've been talking about. And um, so I quick emailed her and said, is this yours? And she said, no, it's Mayor, um no, it's the other neighbor, she said the name. And I'm like, oh, I'm so jealous. But it was kind of funny because I panicked. Like somebody was in our house taking pictures while we were in bed. And it was so scary for a minute. But anyways, so everybody gets to see it all on their railing. but And see the other neighbor that sent this. She's got... It's a Labrador mixed with a Dachshund. So it's got the body of a lab, but the little legs of a Dachshund. So I thought, well, maybe the owl sees that. Sees Bella and thinks, ooh, that's small enough for me to pick up. Because they will go after little dogs. Or little animals, you know. But I don't know why they're getting them. They feed the birds too. It might be because of the mice and all the little things that come in. You know, all the little critters or whatever. But, I don't know what a girl's got to do to get an owl on her deck. Wish I knew. So anyways, that was kind of funny. The whole, here we're drunk. Because then she saw it a few more times. And said, you know, I'm not. Because look at, she took pictures and got proof. But it was funny. All right, so here's some of my cards. Then I will just, I think I'll just put these on here now and just color on there or paint on there. And then I can, so maybe what I might do too, because Nancy said I've, she's got a, she printed off a picture for me of her owls. So I could put those on. And then I can um, go in my little bird book upstairs because I keep track of what I see. Oh, well, used to. So I don't feed them anymore. But I kept track of what I saw, um, what date. So then I can fill these out. Because I don't see much now. Oh, my winders. <clears throat> oh, and the day we went on this bird thing, we were almost done it and it just started this humongous downpour. Like right now, and we got soaking wet. So it's kind of fun. We just made it to the car, <clears throat> but then got soaking wet. Because, you know, trying to get in the car with four people. Or there was three of us and the driver. But this lady is so cool. 
She, um, and I bring Sheila because everybody loves to see her. But she, um, last year she did a syrup, you know, ta it's tree tapping time. And I found out that maple trees and box elder trees give syrup. And we had a box elder tree in our yard growing up. Never knew that, otherwise we would have been tapping that thing every summer or whatever, every fall, spring, whenever it is. Because we would have totally gotten into that. But I wish we would have known. But those are the only trees that gives, what you call it, uh, I need one more thing. That makes syrup. I might as well make one more card. But you don't have to sit and watch that too. But because I got to make... I gotta cut two of these, so I'll do another card. But anyway, so here it is. I think this will be so fun. And I've gotta put a, I'm kinda keeping my index cards, um, like I keep the prototype in here. So each month, or each week has a uh, card in them. And then, the rest of them I keep in a little tray over near my um, stuff for journaling table, but where'd it go? Duh. See how I lose stuff? Oh, yeah, hey. Okay. Alrighty, so there they are. I like them. And when I paint them, I will film that it'll be fun I think and they might not be real fancy they might be like a little five-year-old did it but you know I'll know what it is when I, I write down what I saw um, thanks so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't we'll talk to you later bye